Yo, what's going on everybody? So I got more of a chill video for you today where I just wanna talk about my entry level programming job uh, interview experiences and my offers. So I've had three entry level programming jobs if you consider my first internship. And I'd say for all sakes and purposes for this video, we can consider that an entry level programming job. But yeah, three jobs I wanna talk about to kind of give you a realistic look or realistic idea of what to expect. Now, a few things to keep in mind. This was around the 2016 to 2017 area, and this is for non-tech or non-fang companies right in the Midwest area. So because of that, these interview experiences and these offers may come off as a little bit surprising to some. Anyways, let's kick it off with my first and my only internship. So a quick little backstory. While I was in college, I was actually part of a program that helped tech majors uh, network with tech companies around the area. And one thing this program did is they held uh, mock interviews on campus. So you could actually interview with or mock interview with real tech companies to kind of gain that interview experience. Anyways, I took advantage of this opportunity while I was in college and I signed up for a mock interview one day. So I showed up to my campus, did my mock interview with a tech company around the area and little did I know this was actually a real interview. And I'll explain what I mean by that here in a second. So this tech company that I interviewed with was just a local software development shop. Basically, clients would come to them and they would make uh, websites or mobile apps for them. So the interview process was very straightforward. I just got asked some very uh, basic questions about what projects I'd worked on and what I was interested in. It was actually a very easygoing interview. And actually, the interviewer and I had a mutual connection, which I think definitely helped us connect a bit. So that was pretty much the extent of the interview. Not many behavioral questions, just kind of a general conversation and kind of just going over my programming experience at the time, which was very limited, right? And the reason I say it was a real interview, and uh, you can probably guess why, is because a few days after I did the mock interview, that company actually reached out to me and extended me uh, my first and only internship. Now for the offer. So this internship offered me $12 an hour for 300 hours of work. I accepted, obviously. And after the 300 hours was over, they actually extended my internship. And after that extension was over, they just extended me an offer for a part-time job. Again, for $12 an hour. So I worked this job part-time around 20 hours a week while I was still in college. So that was my very first entry level programming job. Now let's talk about my first uh, big boy full-time programming job interview experience and offer. So my very first full-time entry level programming job interview was a lot different from the a whole internship experience. And this was for a pretty sizable company in the Midwest area. I think they pulled in around like a half a billion dollars of revenue each year. So yeah, pretty large company. Anyways, the interview went like this. It was three rounds. The first round was an initial phone screening with a recruiter. And this was just a very high level overview of my experience with programming, things I worked on during my internship, and my experience with Android development because this was for an Android developer role. So after talking with the recruiter, she actually sent me the job requirements. And I remember reading them and it said like three to five years of experience in a bachelor's degree. And all I had was like uh, 18 months of an internship. And I remember being stressed out about these requirements because I didn't meet them at all. But regardless, we moved forward and we still scheduled a, uh, a real interview uh, with the company. So the second round of the interview was an in-person interview with three developers and one manager. Again, it started very casual. They just asked me about my experience and uh, projects that I worked on. And then they proceeded to ask me some pretty technical questions about Android development. I don't remember exactly what they were, but they were in the realm of like, what minimum API do I develop Android apps for? Uh, what libraries do I use when making the UI of an app? And I think they may have asked me a question on data binding. Again, I'm not sure, but it was in the realm of like very geared questions uh, specific to Android development. After the technical questions, they asked me just general HR questions. And then they asked me like one of those curveball questions that you sometimes get asked in an interview. And I'll never forget what they asked me because it caught me so off guard. But the question was, what song best describes me as a programmer? And my gut reaction without any hesitation was don't stop believing kind of cringe to be honest, but it did make them laugh. And I think it kind of like opened the door to just 
have a more personable connection with the people that I was interviewing with, which I definitely think helped me get this job offer. Anyways, that was pretty much it for the second round of the interview. The third and final round of the interview was another on-site interview. And I remember I only had one suit at the time, so I wore the same suit, just with a different tie, hoping that they didn't notice. Thankfully, they didn't. This time, the interview was with the CTO of the company, and it was very behavioral, just kind of feeling me out. He asked me questions about my career, things like, where do I see myself in five years? Uh, what do I want out of my career? And kind of just general questions like that. And that was the extent of my interview experience. And it may be a little bit surprising to you, and it's kind of surprising to me when I think back on it, but there were no like whiteboarding, coding questions. The technical extent of the interview was just uh, very specific questions geared towards uh, what I would be working on, which was Android development. And now for the offer. Again, keep in mind this was a non-tech company in the Midwest area where the cost of living was pretty low. I mean, you could get a pretty decent apartment in this area for like $800 a month. Matter of fact, my very first one bedroom apartment was like 780 bucks a month which is way better than what I pay now, which is almost like three times that amount. So yeah, the cost of living was very low. Now the base salary was $48,000 a year with around $7,000 a year in bonuses, making the total compensation $55,000 a year. Also, this came with full benefits. So like full health insurance, a full dental, vision, 401k match, and 15 days paid vacation. And for a 21 year old, this was a pretty fucking good offer. I was very happy with this offer. I know some people, especially in the, the tech world, might not think that's very high, but I was very happy with that. Anyways, that's the full interview experience and offer for my first full-time entry-level programming job. Now let's talk about the last entry-level programming uh, job interview experience and offer that I ever had. And this one is a bit different from the one that I just talked about. So at a career fair at my college, I met a recruiter that was looking for iOS developers at their company. I chatted with this recruiter for a bit. She gave me her card. A few days later, I reached out to her and we scheduled a, uh, a real interview for this company. So this interview was around two to three hours long. It was a single day, multi-round on-site interview. The first round of the interview was very behavioral. I got asked like just the general HR questions. Questions like, tell me about a time where you didn't meet a deadline or what's your biggest weakness or tell me about a time where you had to pivot. Just like general questions like that. So that was about 30 to 45 minutes long. After that, I had a, uh, a more technical interview with two other developers. So during this round of interviews, again, it was just, you know, I talked about my experience and I'll never forget it. My phone actually went off during this interview, but I was able to kind of just play it off because the reason why I brought my phone in was to show them apps that I worked on. So it really wasn't that big of a deal, but I'll never forget like my phone ringing and like the, the anxiety that I had when that went off during that interview. But after I showed them the apps I worked on, after we talked about my experience, they then slid me a laptop and this is where I was like, oh shit, okay, this is about to go down. So they slid me the laptop. They had uh, Xcode Playgrounds open, I think. And then they asked me to create a class in Swift. Pretty easy, I was able to do that in a few seconds. After creating the class in Swift, they said, okay, now add some variables to the class. Okay, I did that. Again, pretty easy, it took me a couple seconds. And then after that, they grabbed the laptop, they looked at it and they said, okay, looks good. And that was literally it. That was the extent of my technical interview. And I remember being like, I was so freaked out about that. So after the technical interview, they gave me a tour of the campus and I was on my way. So I did that interview end of March of 2017. The recruiter actually reached out to me. She said that the interview went well and that she was just waiting for approval to extend me an offer. And then over the course of the next five months, I got multiple emails from the recruiter saying that she was still waiting for approval. To be honest, I think they were either on the fence about me or they were waiting to staff me on a project. Not really sure. Anyways, uh, August of 2017, so about five months later, they actually sent me an informal offer uh, via email. So the offer was $60,000 a year with a $2,000 relocation bonus, 
and benefits. I'm not really sure what the extent of the benefits were because I actually ended up saying no to that job uh, just because I had already accepted the uh, the previous offer from the first job that I talked about. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's the extent of all my entry-level programming job interviews and my offers. Now, I may have gotten lucky by not getting asked uh, very hard technical questions. It's really hard to say why the interview was so easy. Maybe it was because these weren't for like top tech companies, or maybe it was because I was still entry level. Again, not really sure, but I can definitely say for every job ever since for higher level roles, I've gotten some pretty in-depth uh, technical interviews. So if you're interested in hearing about those interviews, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video on that if this video does well, with the exception of the company that I'm currently at. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and sub, leave a spicy comment to help with engagement, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.